So the new Fortnite season dropped, but there is a ton of players facing low FPS, stutters, and really massive performance problems. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix all of them in just under 3 minutes and even boost your FPS by double. Make sure to watch till the end, like and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. So as you can see here, we have around 150 to 180 FPS on average, and this is with the default settings that the game gave me. Now let's see how much FPS we could get after optimizing my PC. So the first thing, obviously, are the the settings now what you want to do is always have your rendering mode be to performance make sure to not have it on legacy performance but performance next frame and limit you could also set it to unlimited or you could set it to what your monitor's refresh rate is which is mine is 144 you can have literally anything any kind of monitor it's gonna be much smoother right off the bat now next what i would say is set your 3d resolution to 70 percent it's not gonna make a major difference but everything else you could just set it down to near low and just low because that is about it if you want to have a higher view distance you could set it to far or epic it's not really gonna have a much of an impact on performance but that is about it and if you have nvidia reflex low latency make sure to have it on on plus boost not just on on or off if you have it at all if you have any other similar technology make sure to have it on so you can get the most fps possible now additionally in the audio section you can scroll down and go into the sound quality and you could put it to low instead of high to just get a higher bit of performance now additionally what you could do is go into game section and scroll down until you see the extra game options now what you want to do is genuinely turn off video highlights because that's gonna constantly record using your gpu and it takes a lot of fps away from you additionally what you want to do is turn off replays unless you're some highly competitive gamer that needs all the angles you don't want to have this on because it's constantly going to be saving recordings of your gameplay same for everything else literally large team replays creative high quality especially this one make sure to turn all of that off here if you want you could turn this off because usually if you're away from the pc for like 15 minutes it's gonna have an annoying screen so if you want you just turn it off and click apply and that is basically about it next what you want to do is go in your browser and type in discord.gg slash rip tweaks click enter and make sure to join the discord server now once you're in discord what you want to do is scroll down to the free tweaks channel and make sure to click on download click on visit site and then just click on the download for windows button now, what you want to do is just drag this to your desktop and then just right click and open with windows explorer just drag the two files out and what you want to do is right click and run as administrator and click on run now here what you want to do is click number one to create our store point and now here what you want to do is click on number one which is cpu tweaks click enter and basically follow the whole menu if you have an amd cpu you want to click number two and click enter and then you go back by clicking number three and clicking enter same for number two which is gpu pick your gpu click whatever button and then go back so on and so forth now i'm gonna do literally every single one of the tweaks to show you how it's done here what you want to do is just pick a windows version i'm gonna pick windows 10 if you have windows 11 make sure to click windows 11 and this is going to apply all of the important tweaks to make sure your pc is in the best condition and has the best performance possible but before we dive deeper i'd like to share a few words about easy us voice wave the world's most realistic ai voice changer which has over 500 free voices custom ai voices like your favorite politicians celebrities or even game characters it's got a massive soundboard library so you control all your friends with various audios and it's supported in all gaming apps like discord TeamSpeak, and literally every single game that has a voice chat feature so make sure to visit the link in the description to download easy us voice wave today or maybe even get the premium version for up to 70 percent off during their black friday sale now back to the video now after you have finished what you want to do is click number six and in the bloat you want to click number one which is the, the bloat button if you want to revert any of the changes you can click number two then we can go into power which is the best out of all does the most things and basically is the number one option if you want to get the most fps input lag is number eight and just want to go through all of the options as you can see here go back network and do all of the options here and then just type in number 10 to go into the game section and just click on number one which is fortnite and click enter now you can go back by tapping in 11 and then additionally what you could do is click the letter f and click enter go to ripuse.com and click on get started ultimate purchase add to cart and then just proceed to check out as you can see here we have rupix ultimate and we can do literally every single one of the options cpu gpu ram bios ssd hard drive monitor literally every windows option there is every tweak you can literally just apply all of the settings instantly and get the most fps possible now going over the last steps what we're going to do is click your windows button and type in nvidia 
app and basically what you want to do is open the nvidia app if you don't have it make sure to search it up in your browser and make sure to download now this is for nvidia users only and i'm quite sure for all of the amd users and intel users you have your own software for installing drivers and much much more now what you want to do is go in the top left corner and click on the drivers now what you want to do here is just click on download make sure this is the game ready driver not the studio driver and make sure to have it up to date if it already is we could go to the next step which is going in the system going to the performance section and what you want to do is click on automatic tuning now what you want to do is just enable it now it's going to try and overclock your gpu as much as possible and as safely as possible now this is safe automatic it's made by nvidia and they actually endorse you to do this so you can get the most fps out of your pc as you can see here i had plus 146 megahertz on my gpu clock and plus 200 megahertz on my vram which gave me a ton of fps boost and as you can see it was just like 10 days ago so it always goes automatic and it finds the best overclock settings that you have for your gpu now in the meantime while this is downloading what you want to do is just right click on your taskbar and go into task manager go to startup and just disable literally every single thing that is enabled here because all of these apps are running in your background for example this send to one no tool is yup as you can see it's working in the background for no reason so what you want to do is just disable it just disable every single one of these startup applications and additionally just close all of them here as you can see just exit everything exit all of the unnecessary applications and that is pretty much about it here what you want to do is just click on the install button once this is installed and click on the express installation click continue and just wait for it to finish what you want to do is click on windows and r and type in msconfig here what you want to do is go into the boot section and make sure to go in advanced options and the number of processors should be on the maximum possible do not click the maximum memory because if you have an integrated graphics card this might allocate a lot of ram towards it so just click on the number of processors set it to the max you have and just click ok additionally you can go into the services and what you want to do is just search for some services that you think you should not be running make sure to be cautious because this can break a lot of the apps now for example if i do not want to use virtualbox system service i'm just gonna uncheck it and just click on apply but that is all i won't be able to use this anymore i think and that is really about it you can just click exit without restart and now we could restart literally everything and we'll check the fps that we have in fortnite after doing literally all of the tweaks and as you can see we're averaging over 300 fps has consistently after doing literally all of the tweaks let me just kill this guy and anyways that's about it guys thank you for watching this video if it helped you out make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video